This movie is called A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, an Iranian film about a lonely vampire stalking the streets and dealing with bad men. This film is in black and white and has a haunting atmosphere. Let's join the girl as she devours misogynists while also encountering love in the strangest of places. A young man, Arash, waits while looking around, then quickly takes a cat. He walks back to his car, looking away from the pile of bodies in a ditch. A kid asks him for money as he reaches his car, and he says he didn't have any. The kid reasoned that since he's got a nice car, then he should have some. Rash sent him away saying he worked 2,191 days to afford the car. Back at his place, his father Hossein passes out while watching TV. Saeed, a pimp, forces his way in and forces Arash to pay for his father's debts. Since the father doesn't have money, Saeed takes Arash's car as payment. Arash tried chasing him but was too late and was furious at it all. With an injured hand, he still showed up at a grand residence to do some odd jobs. Shada called him up to get him to do something. She was on the phone talking to her friend about a party while Arash is trying to fix the TV reception. He notices the earrings and asks Shada if he could have some time alone to do his work. He reasons that her parents may not take kindly to having a boy in her room. She seduces him lightly before leaving. Arash then took the earrings. Saeed is now flaunting his new car. He asks Addy to get in and then takes her earnings. After forcing her to service him, a mysterious figure appears just outside the vehicle. Saeed glanced and saw it but disappeared after a second look. He then dragged Addy outside after she demanded her cut. He told her to do a better job and to stop crying. A young girl walks home alone that night. She plays music and danced to it, then she put on some makeup and got ready. She walks past Saeed and glanced at him invitingly. He then notices that she's stopped. He approaches her and invites her back to his place. Saeed has a nice well-furnished home. He took a line and asks the girl if she would like one. She ignored him, so he just sat there counting his takings. He put on some music and started working out, then started to dance awkwardly while she stares. Saeed can't contain himself any longer and touches the girl. As he parted her lips, fangs sprouted suddenly. This surprised him more than anything, but the girl lovingly sucked on his finger before biting it off. He screams in pain while she gives him a satisfying look. She toys with him a little before finishing him off. Arash arrives at Saeed's place to try to give him back his car in exchange for the earrings. But Saeed is gone and the girl is ransacking the place. She encounters Arash but walked past him. He went inside the house and sees the mess she made. Arash took this chance to take back his keys. Then he also took the briefcase filled with cash, pills, and a gun. Another body was dumped in the pit, probably Saeed. Arash paid him off and got his arm fixed now that he has money. Shada is now ready for the party, and so is Arash. Hossein is having withdrawals, so he stepped outside and started harassing Addy but she rejected his advances, since he doesn't have money. Then they got distracted by the girl. She started imitating him in an effort to provoke him somehow, but Hossein ran away instead. The girl then started following the kid. She blocked his way, but he slips past her only to bump into her again. This spooked the kid, so the girl asks him if he's a good boy. The kid meekly says yes, but the girl isn't convinced, so she asks again. The kid again says yes. She tells him not to lie, but the kid was unyielding. She then threatened the kid that she'll come for him if he didn't grow up into a good man. The girl now has the kid's skateboard. Rash prepares his costume for the party. Shada is enjoying herself when she spots Arash. She got info that Dracula is selling pills, so Arash gave them one each for free. Then Shada cheekily asks for another, and Arash says one is enough. But she insisted, and he gave her one only for her to dare him to take it. Arash is on a high and can't quite comprehend what's going on. He tried to kiss Shada, but she avoids him, then someone gave him fangs. Arash decides to leave the party. Arash is walking along and stares at a lamppost. 
the girl skates past him and decides to check him out. Arash tells her he's lost and asks for directions, but the girl was being vague and Arash is stoned. He introduces himself as Dracula and walks away, but the girl followed. The girl is waiting for a reason to bite when Arash suddenly turned around. He then asked why she's here, why they're both here. He held her hand, it was cold, so he hugged her, thinking she was freezing. He then sat on the ground, and the girl invited him to her place so he can sit there. She carried Arash on her skateboard and took him back to her place. The girl played some music, and they both have a brief intimate moment together. She didn't end up biting him. Addy was casually walking when she spots Arash's car. Thinking that it's still Saeed's, she scratched it, but the girl just appeared and started following her. Addy asked what she wanted and the girl offered her a watch. Addy took the girl back to her place and asked her where she got the watch. The girl remained quiet. Addy asked her what she wanted. Apparently the girl wanted to help Addy because she's sad and that she's been in her profession for so long that she has forgotten her dreams. The girl left Addie's place and drifts along but couldn't contain her hunger. She consumes a beggar by the corner. Later that day, she had a dream about a rash in a tunnel. She meets up with him shortly after. He offered her a burger, but she doesn't eat it. Arash wanted to know her better, but the girl remained quiet. He then gave her the earrings, despite the girl's ear not pierced, but she let him do it. Arash safely did it and complimented the girl on her new earrings. Arash is leaning in for a kiss, but the girl stopped him by saying she's done bad things. He didn't care, but the girl left him anyway. He tried to stop her and told her whatever it is, it didn't matter. She still left. Hossein is having terrible moment. The withdrawals are getting to him and blames his wife for leaving and making him miserable. Rash arrived and got mad at his father, so he gave him money and pills and tells him to leave and to also take the cat with him. With the money, Hossein called for Addy. He asked her to dance for him like in the old days. Afterwards, he forced her to shoot up despite Addy's protests. Hossein strongly insisted she takes it. They both pass out on the bed. Through the cat, the girl somehow found out what happened to Addy. She swiftly arrived and broke in and dragged Hossein. The girl devoured him then. Addy looked on helplessly. Addy helps the girl get rid of the body. They both dump him on a street, but the kid sees them doing it. The next day, the kid leads Arash to that place. Arash sees his father and is distraught. He asks the kid if he saw anything, but he wouldn't say for fear of the girl. He tries asking again, to no avail. Arash goes home and packs his stuff and drives around looking for something. Meanwhile, the girl had another dream of Arash. She wakes up and senses his presence. She opens the door and sees him outside. Arash tells the girl to pack up her stuff because they're leaving, the girl looked confused. He asks her to leave the city with him. She considers this, changed her clothes then started packing her stuff. Arash sits on the bed waiting for the girl to finish. Then the cat comes out, and everything became clear to Arash. All the men's watches and jewelry, the pile of bodies in the pit, what happened to his father? Arash darkly considers his options. They both travel in the dead of night. Suddenly Arash pulls to the side of the road. He started anxiously pacing back and forth, the girl curiously watching him. Arash finally came to a decision and goes back in the car. After a very tense moment, Arash reaches into his compartment and takes a tape and plays it. Upbeat music started playing, and with a knowing look, Arash starts the car and continued driving through the night.